Well, just got down south here on another food plot project, and I was getting everything unchained and getting ready to unload everything, and thought about the fact that some folks have asked me, hey, what's that big black thing on the front of your loader on that tractor? And then other folks, when they've seen some picture or whatever, they've been like, well, how are you carrying that disc in the front of that tractor? So I figured I'd give you all a little quick explanation of what we got here. Well, what we got here on the loader, as you see, is that, uh, that attachment right there is what people have been asking about. So I know on some videos, pictures, whatever, um, the, I think I've had some with the cedar sitting on, you know, hooked on that. And then, of course, this disc has been on there, the cultivator. packer. And, uh, as you can see, the disc is on the trailer right now at the front. So I got it un unstrapped. We'll fix it and unload it. The way I got that up there is I use the loader. Now, if you were to back up on the trailer and unhook it, you know, number one, backing on. Every time you go up on the old, every time you go up and off of a trailer, you're running a risk. It just is what it is. So I guess it was three years ago, I had this idea for this and I put it together. It was a prototype, like most everything I tend to do, it's a prototype and unfortunately the second type never gets done. But it's about time to do a little bit more work on it. But to give you an idea what we got is, you look at the tractor here, I run everything on a quick hitch so that's your three-point hitch but instead of having to get off and pin uh your implement on and everything you just more or less back up underneath of it and pick it up so here's an example of one that's on the tractor this is a john deere one and there is a big difference between this john deere hitch and then the one you see on the front of the tractor this john deere hitch i guess three years ago i think it was about 600 bucks there now you can see on here, I run a hydraulic top link and that lets me control the angle, um, you know, of the implements on there, which is real handy running that disc. Cause I can get that disc level that way and I don't have to get off and on and do the old, you know, regular style top link where you got to screw it and unscrew it to shorten it or lengthen it. But it's all on the back here. Like I said, we got the John Deere hitch and I think it was about $600 three years ago, and that is a very well bit hitch, and there is a night and day difference between that and what's on the front tractor. But as you can see on this cultivator, quick hitch, you just come up underneath the pins, those uh, pieces right here, lock or unlock, that lets you get it off. This cultivator is set up for a category one or a category two. For those that are not familiar with the categories, the category sizing is the width of this and the size of the pins, but the width between these pins and then the, the distance to the top length. And as you can see, this has got, I don't know if y'all can try to reach in there, this side right here would be for category one. Now we can see that on the disc right here as well. This disc is made for multiple, which this disc will go category three as well. So from the factory, it's got these pins. As you can see, these holes are just done. You only have to have one length pin, but if you want to hook on smaller, you can. So what I needed is on the contract that I do for the government, I think you may have seen some of them videos um, where we were seeding our food plots out there. Again, the fall, just finished it up the other day. I do over 50 acres and in the fall i have to come in there and do the tillage and then i uh, do the fertilizing and the seed i have the seed mixed with the fertilizer put that out with a uh, with a bulk spreader um you see i got one right there for this project but then we got to come back over it for the specs and run the cultivator over it to set the seed so number one transporting all this equipment if i had a disc standard disc that was on the draw bar set up you're a lot longer and then you're also going to have to you know pull that whole tractor and disc up on there and you're only going to get that on the trailer and that's it the way this is set up in the spring i have to have my cedar so it's tight but in the spring the cedar will go in long ways like that disc is set and it's 10 foot cedar but it takes up about I think about 11, 12 foot. I'll put the cultivator on the front right there and leave the disc on the back. 
So one trip out there and one trip in between the long distance areas gets all the equipment moved. I could not do that if I was using drawbar equipment. So the very first year I did that contract, I picked up a disc and everything with straps and a set of pilot forks with a tractor. And I normally do this stuff by myself, so that means you got to get out, you know, you got to hook on a strap, you got to get your pilot forks just right, put the strap over it, blah, blah, blah. And it just adds another risk of getting on off the trailer personally, busting my ass or whatever. And so there's got to be an easier way. So what I did is I did not want to buy the high dollar John Deere quick hitch because I was just going to weld this hitch to an adapter plate. That was my idea. Then I could pick up everything. So what I did is I have the John Deere global connector, I believe is what it's called um on this tractor so you just pull this this rod this uh, handle right here and it pulls that rod out so what i did i believe i got this attachment plate right here this is just this plate not this but this plate right here and it's got the the setups for the uh for the globe i believe i ordered that from titan attachments which i think is pilotforks.com I've ordered a few adapter plates from them over the years um, to build some other stuff for skid steers and everything. So I ordered that. I did not get a real thick one. And uh, then we looked for a cheaper version of the Category 2 Quick Hitch. Originally, I think we went down to Rule King, and they were supposed to have one in stock. We drove down there. And I ended up not having it. So we got on the phone real quick. A buddy of mine was with, with me. Actually, he drove. I was with him. And uh, we called Agri Supply. And they had one there. So we just, it was about an hour drive down to the Rural King. And it was another hour and a half or so drive across, across country to get to the Agri Supply. And this hitch, I want to say, can't remember for sure, but I think this hitch was like 180 or $200 for you know just the hitch and that plate was probably 150 or so back then let me jump up here we'll take a little bit closer look at it it might have been easier just to pull the tractor off but so anyways what we got is i took a quick hitch and i just welded it to this adapter plate now this adapter plate from titan was, was bent just like this it's reinforcement putting them bends in it I welded this thing on here, just in a couple spots, and threw a couple straps on it. And it was, like I said, it was a prototype. It was just an idea, proof of concept, would it work? And it worked. And I did take a torch to the top link hook um, to make it easier to hook up. Because the only problem with this is from in a tractor, you're working blind. You know, with you got forks or whatever on a tractor. You, about, you just can't see. So every time I try to hook this thing up to something, it takes a little practice. Now, taking something like this, this disc off the trailer, I'll be able to see pretty good, but picking that cold packer up and toting it sometimes can uh, be a little bit of a bugger. But as long as it does, as you see, is it's just like the other quick hitch. It's just a little bit cheaper. Now, I did do a little bit of whittling with the torch on the hooks right there just to give a little more slop and stuff, just to make it kind of a little bit easier to uh, to get hooked on. And it's worked. This has worked for just finished three years, but I noticed something actually just this last week doing these uh, the food plots is I was having a little bit harder time getting this thing hooked on to here and not the hooking it part, but getting it to drop in. So if you look, that piece goes in there, it's the same way on the other side, and then this rod for the handle, that's what locks it on. So what I was running into is it seemed like the distance between this one and the one over there had gotten shorter. And sometimes it wasn't fully dropping in. So I got looking at this, I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but over time, this plate has actually bowed is bowed this way like a cup so by this bowing this way that it has shortened the distance in between this point and that point over there so 
what we're probably going to need to do is plus I, I noticed we got a crack up here on this strap that was just a little low light 11 gauge strap in our head so what we need to do is do another version of it but uh maybe go a little bit thicker on the plate a 3 8 plate a 5 16 plate would work better now, i don't know if i'm just gonna um order another one for them or i may just call a buddy of mine that's done some work for me and uh they got a big press break and maybe just have him cut me a piece of plate and bend it like this because this gives it some reinforcement but and i may just cut these cut these mounts off of the global or you can just order these several places just have this piece for for sale so as you can see i could come in here and just cut this off i believe this depends how much work we want to but we can reuse the hitch and everything but i think the, the next version what we need to do is probably instead of doing these straps what i'll probably do is just line up a piece of angle iron weld it to the bend right here and then weld that angle iron to there stitch weld it across it'll get a lot more a lot more strength that way and it'll it'll even out all that pressure and it won't try to pull away this bend's being tossed because the object on the front that weight and it's wanting to bounce up and down so you know like out there at the base them old tank trails we run down they, they're pretty rough they get washboards real bad so if you have the cedar on there it's 24 2600 pounds it's a pretty good bit of leverage out there same with the disc right here you know if you're hooking on to here and then you got that disc over there there's a lot of leverage but anyways i just thought i'd give y'all an idea what that was and that answer anybody's questions it's you know it's real simple to build and you know if you need to move some implements around your, your farm or your estate or whatever i mean you could do the same thing i'm fixing to use it right now on this property and i'm gonna put this disc uh on the back and, and go do all the tillage out here but then what i'll do is do just like i do out at the, out at the base is i'm gonna put the spreader on and then i'll just bring my uh, culture packer on the front right here and we'll go out there and get that done so so i give you all an idea like i said i got that at agri supply i'll see if maybe if i can find one of them link things and uh and maybe put it in there but uh he can build you one I, I think you find it real handy if that's a need you have but hopefully that'll answer everybody's question y'all have a good